pearls popping up yet. Huh. It's pretty though. I'm gonna let it sit and see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna try it again and this time I mixed a little bit more water in with my paint. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it pretty much sinks. It leaves no mound, no trace, no nothing. It almost looks like it makes a little dimple as it runs back into itself. So, here we go with that. Let's see if my white is that thin also. Now, actually, I'm getting a slight, slight trace. So let me add a little bit more water to the white. And, just adding more water so that way hopefully oops, turn that around. Here. you can see that there we go it just runs right back into itself without any trace no trace at all okay Let's try this again. Same colors, a little bit more water. And I think I might need to stretch it out a little bit more too. So, there. Okay, I'm just gonna cover the entire canvas with it first. There we go. Okay. Come on, down to that corner. There we go. Okay. There. That's my hands. That's what an apron's for. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to put just a little bit more right through the center. Okay, there. I'm going to give it a torch because it's going to be full of all kinds of air bubbles. And that we just mixed in the water. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, I'm just going to sploosh this through. Okay, now the antique copper. Okay. 
There we go. All right. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay, and I already know I don't like that right through there. Okay, let's go back down. That's really getting pink and light blue. I don't care for that. corner. Come on. Off with your head. There we go. Okay, let's see what we get. I took my phone out of the clip up here um, to uh, check a silent notification and when I went to put my phone back up it fell into my paint right here it went ploop so yeah um yeah it's still wet enough so I think we're just gonna re-pour over the top of it and I really don't have any of these colors left, so I mixed up mixed up some turquoise, some goldens. Where is it? Yeah, goldens turquoise phalo. Maybe just another drop or two in. Okay, so 
Yeah, mixed up the Golden's Turquoise Phthalo. That is a fluid acrylic. And yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna re-pour with this one. <laughs> down here before and so when I brought in for close-up shots <laughs> I didn't care for the angle very much <laughs> it's like you're glancing over the top of the canvas and you're getting a yeah one of those shots and it was like no that's got to change but now I got the apron and I really don't need it but because I got a taller table and stuff yeah things have changed around and stuff um, some things stay the same, don't they, Toby? Come on, out. Yes, Taz. I hear you. Go. I'm trying to record a video, you guys. Out. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. If you're just joining us, this is Acrylic Painting with me, Julie E. And I'm having a bad hair day. But... <laughs> What we're going to do is we are going to do Christina Welch's recipe for her um, pearl clouds or cloud pearl pour, however you want to phrase it, whatever it's called. Um, and it's really easy, really easy. I'm using the recipe from, I can turn this on, from her video number 603. This is gorgeous, minimalist cloud pearl pour acrylic so you just hit the little arrow I suppose I should have this on but yeah you just hit this little arrow right there it drops down the description box and right there front and center is the recipe and it's really easy to follow so I thought I'd walk you through it I'm not gonna actually mix one I have one mixed and labeled make sure you label your bottles you don't want to get them all mixed up so and the recipe is the perfect amount for one of these it is sorry allergies it is um a coffee creamer bottle and it holds 32 fluid ounces and what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set your bottle down on your scale and then you need flow troll flood flow troll and you want to strain it. So you take your strainer, hold it over a cup, strain it all out, and then pour the strain contents back into another container. So what you'll do is you will pour in 16 ounces of flood flow troll, right? 16 ounces. Then you're gonna take your Artist Loft Flow White, tip it up, and you're just gonna squeeze in eight ounces of your Artist Loft Flow White. Then we've got four ounces of Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels, and you're just gonna spoon in four ounces. That's it. And then two ounces of Liquitex Pouring Medium or Glue All. 
So you can use either one. Don't use both, use one or the other. And I used glue all, because I want to get rid of my glue all. So you just pour in two ounces of that, okay? And then what I do is, and then it says water added to Dutch pour consistency. Well, I didn't add any water to mine, right? And I have these um, little ceramic magnets. You could get like the bag of glass bead things that you put in aquariums and stuff from the Dollar Tree or something. Those big like cabochon looking type glass beads. Put one in, don't put multiple. You don't want to break glass up in your bottle by them hitting together. But I just drop that in to the mix. And it works like the little BBs that are in your um, nail polish. So there's a magnet in there and I just shake it up and that magnet helps mix things up, just the weight of it. It just acts like a BB in the nail polish bottle. And yeah, it's that simple. Then what you'll do is you will take this and you will pour it into a bigger cup. You don't need a scale for that part, but what you do is you'll take this mixture, you pour it into a bigger cup, and then you will just add water till you get a Dutch pour consistency. Really simple, really easy. Again, that's Christina Welch, and her video is number 603, and just hit the description, and everything is there. And the paints, the colors are really simple to mix too. But like I said, you will need Floetrol for this recipe. And glue all or Liquitex pouring medium. So, where's my other, there it is. There's my other magnet, there we go. My, metal, my table is steel, so it's nice. The magnets hold paper and stuff in place. All right, so I'm gonna bring you down on the canvas and we're going to go ahead and play around with the pearl recipe.